Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Katie, I'm a travel agent, and I specialize in Disney and Universal vacations. And today I'm here at Universal's Cabana Bay Beach Resort. This is a value resort. Technically they call it a prime value resort. This room is a two queen Volcano Bay view room. It is located in the Bayside Tower and the room number is 71110. We are on the 11th floor, which is the highest possible floor in this building. This is going to be an in-depth room tour of this room. If you are interested in more information about this hotel, I have a video of that as well and I have it linked here. And you can check that out to see all about the restaurants and activities and everything going on at Cabana Bay Beach Resort. There's a lot going on at Cabana Bay Beach Resort, so I recommend watching that as well. I do want to highlight something really quick about this resort. This is a partner hotel of Universal Orlando, which means that you are staying on property at Universal Orlando by staying in this resort. You get early park access, which means that you get into the theme park one hour early before the general public. It's different parks on different days. There's a rotating schedule that you can find online. This resort also has a shuttle to all of the theme parks that runs every 10 to 15 minutes and it's about a five minute drive to the theme parks from here. You can also walk to all of the theme parks from this hotel. It's about a 15 minute walk to the main theme park area where you'll find City Walk, Islands of Adventure, and Universal Studios Florida or it is a less than five minute walk, could be a five second walk to Volcano Bay, depending on where your room is in the hotel. Before we look at the room itself, a note about the location of the room. So this room was in the Bayside Tower, which is all the way on the bottom left hand side of this map. The middle of the hotel here is where the main food court area is, as well as the lobby. This is a deceptively large hotel. It could take you seven, eight minutes to walk across the length of the property if you are a moderately paced walker. All of the Volcano Bay View rooms are in the two towers, so these towers are equidistant pretty much to all of the amenities around the hotel. So with a Volcano Bay View room, you're looking at a five minute walk to the food court and the main lobby. It is very close to Volcano Bay. Basically, you get out of the Bayside Tower, walk like one minute, and you are at Volcano Bay. The Adventure Tower, maybe a few more minutes walk to make up that distance between the two towers. From your room, you are going to be about a five-minute walk to the bus stop. That will drop you at City Walk, where you can easily access City Walk, Universal Studios, and Universal's Islands of Adventure. You are as far away as possible within this hotel from the walking path to City Walk and the two theme parks. So go ahead and add eight minutes onto that 15 minute walk from the hotel to the theme parks. So you're looking at closer to a 25 minute walk. These rooms are close to the pool on the left hand side of the map. There are two pools. The one on the left hand side of the map does have the lazy river. I will note that it is much simpler to get out of your tower and then walk on the exterior pathways throughout the resort instead of walking through the buildings where the other rooms are. That about covers the location of this room, so now let's take a look at the room itself. Okay, let's start this room tour with the door. Got this flippy lock, lock, privacy sign, standard safety information. You've got a little nook here. Great to put all of your stuff, as you can see all of my stuff. <laughs> all right, and then we have the bathroom. It's a cute color. You got two drawers here and some shelves. Now the theming of this resort, if you can't tell, is like a beach motel in the 50s. So it's all sort of got that vibe. You've even got zest soap. Close this. You've got this built-in hair dryer. Those are usually not great, but there, there you have it. You've got a full length mirror on the door. That is nice. You've got the shower. This is a nice big shower. Toilet. This is a nice shower. You've got a clothesline, which is great if you are swimming. And some products. More zest soap. And pivot around here. Oh, something that is cool is like there's light switches everywhere, but there's like a all off switch that'll turn everything off at once. That's pretty cool. 
All right, we've got this closet here. Standard hangers, standard ironing board iron, the thingy for suitcase. There is a safe in here. It's nice to know, extra pillows and blankets. Lots, not lots of space, but decent space here. Option for a connecting room, which is nice. And then you can put stuff here if you're not connecting. You've got two queen beds, which this is cute. Like, this is the cute that you're, you're wanting here. Very cute. Pivot around here. We've got the TV. I will say, like, this TV could be bigger, I guess. I don't know. And then you've got this dresser here with four drawers. These are pretty big drawers. That's nice. And then you've got your little fridge here. And then standard. This is just for chilling things. It's not like a freezer <laughs> or a super good fridge, although this looks like it might get colder than some, quote, beverage coolers that some hotels have. And then we have a little coffee maker here. And there is a Starbucks in the lobby. Also, I'm sure they sell coffee at the food court. Light. Got a little table, trash can, ice bucket, cute chairs. Got lots of plugs. That's always good. Then the curtains here. We've got the sheer curtain and the blackout. And now this window, like this is a wall to wall window. This is a huge window. If it was daytime and I'll put a shot in of that, then there's gonna be tons of light in this room, but uh, I'm not gonna keep this room this cute until <laughs> tomorrow morning. So I needed to do this now. Here you got the beds. Another plug over here. Now these lights, you've got four of them and they have two settings on each one. A little faux leather headboard there, one pillow for each person. So only four pillows. All right, here's my like one complaint that I have having not even been in this room for an hour. This bedspread, both of these bedspreads look well loved i think that they could be updated i think that this this could use an update then you have got the phone pen and paper which is nice because a lot of hotels don't even give you that anymore and then this cute clock which is plugged in oh it's plugged in okay so it's a real clock a little hand sanitizer that's nice Cubby here, drawer. There's not USB plugs by the bed, but you've got plugs. And no plug on that side, no table on either side, just the table in the middle. Cute artwork. All right, and then the view, it's pretty cool. So this is a Volcano Bay view room. And you definitely have a view of the whole water park. These like columns here, which I'm sure look cool from the outside, really blocking like some of the view here. But if you're in this one, you can see that there. I'm gonna put out all the other stuff you can see. So I'm pretty sure that's the Orlando Eye and that whole amusement area on iDrive, this is a giant Disney 50th anniversary billboard. That was actually like a big press release when this billboard got put up. It's like the biggest billboard in Florida or something. I don't know, the biggest digital billboard in Florida. And then back here is roller coasters. I'm gonna guess that's SeaWorld, not sure. And over here, got like downtown Orlando. Here's a look at the view at night. I will say my favorite thing about this room is the view. 
it's a really fun view and there's a lot of natural light that comes in this very large whole wall of windows. So that is the highlight of this room for me. The absolute worst thing about this room for me is the location. It was so far from everything other than Volcano Bay. I did not like having to walk five minutes to the food court. Adding on all that time to walk across the resort and then onto the path to City Walk to get to the theme parks is a big no from me. So the location of this room made it challenging for me. The room itself was clean. It was cute. It had a mini fridge and a coffee maker, which were both great. The shower was really nice, and it had a good amount of space for a standard sized room. Overall thoughts, this room is just okay. It's a solidly okay room. You're not going to hate it. You're probably not going to love it. If you want to stay at this hotel and it is what is available, then go ahead and book it. I don't think you're making a bad decision at all. This is a more budget-friendly resort for Universal Orlando, so if you're looking to stay at Universal Orlando at a budget price, this is a solid value for your money. This hotel also offers suites. I also stayed in a family suite during my stay, and I liked that so much better than this room. I have a tour of that room as well, and I'll link it here. And that is this two queen Volcano Bay view room at Universal's Cabana Bay Beach Resort. I hope you found this helpful. If you were looking to visit Universal Orlando, if you're looking to stay at Cabana Bay Beach Resort, any of their other resorts, or anywhere in Orlando, I would love to be your travel agent. There are no fees for working with me. You get my expert advice and professional opinion about your Universal Orlando vacation or any vacation to any destination. My contact information is on the screen. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and have a great vacation.